Hey, hey, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's project is a little treat holder. Some of you might need to um, throw a little favor together really quick for the holidays. This is a great one. Um, I did find it on the internet. This is not my idea, and for the life of me, I don't remember where it came from. I made these um, last week for my 500 Club girls. I usually have a, a little gathering for those who have had a $500 party with me over the course of the year and so I wanted a little favor. So it's just a tiny little treat box made out of our presents and pine cones paper and when you pull off the little belly band string inside you have little baby Ghirardelli. So let me show you how to make this. We are going to use our Candy Cane Christmas um, stamp set and this is a great one because it goes well with gift giving especially if you're giving food type things so i need my score tool and i also need a piece of dsp that is four inches wide six inches long and we're going to do a little bit of scoring here i'm going to score the long side let's see if you can see that i'm going to score the long side at one and a half and two also at four and four and a half. Now one little trick to scoring designer series paper, you can tear through your paper very, very easily with too much pressure. So if you have the Simply Scored tool from Stampin' Up, you'll notice that one of the ends is very small rounded, one is very fat rounded. So I like to use the fat rounded end with my designer paper and just do a nice light score so that I don't tear through my paper. So you're gonna flip this around and you're gonna score at a half inch on both sides. Or both the long sides, I guess. So I flipped that over and uh, did a half inch score. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this guy. And then we're going to burnish our folds. And so that just kind of means really making the fold, the, the scores that you made just really nice and crisp. And I love a bone folder for this. Um, look at this bone folder. Oh my goodness. It's a team bone folder that came from my upline, which is awesome. One of the girls that is in... Um, in Stampin' Up! does in these engraved bone folders. It's She's a demonstrator, but that's her little sideline. So if you need any type of engraving done on uh, items like that, she is awesome. Her name's Tamara Davis. You can find her on Etsy. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep on burnishing those folds. Let's just make sure project go together so much better whenever your folds are nice and crisp. Now I will tell you it is a little tricky to see them because I did them so lightly um, but I didn't want my paper to tear. Okay so I think I'm still missing one. Yes this one. No? I got them all. Okay now the trick to this is if you do have a designer paper that has a top and a bottom you want to watch where you're going to cut because you want it to fold so that my Christmas trees are the right way. Um, so that is a little something you want to keep an eye on when you go to cut them. So let me find the scissors. All right. What we need to do is make this our flap that is going to come over. And so I want to cut off that score line on the edge. I'm going to go the whole way up to the second score line that comes across. So I'm going to cut on my vertical to the second horizontal. Sometimes there's a side of the paper that's a little better to see so you can flip it and, and uh, try and find your score line a little more visible on whichever side of the DSP works best. So we're going to get rid of these guys. And again, like I said, that's to the second score line. And then there should be these two little score lines right here. We want to cut those straight up and make them little flaps. That's what's going to help our bottom here turn into a box. So just cut right up, just two little flap trims up so they look like that. Okay. So I'm going to take a little, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Okay, so on my other one, I don't have that here. Um, I just got back from a stamping weekend away 
four days at a cabin with my friends, stamping like crazy. And uh, my corner rounder's packed away, but that's okay. Little bit of tear and tape. I love the tear and tape. So we're gonna take, okay, so if we have this sitting here like this, this little last flap right here, little bit of tear and tape on that. And that's gonna help hold our box together. So there's my adhesive. Now what I would have done, I would have rounded those two little corners right there, but like I said, I don't have it. It's packed away and I'm not gonna go dig for it while I'm trying to do a video. So these are going to fold in. Oh, sorry, these, these little flaps will fold in. They're gonna come up here like this. Peel my tear and tape off. And then just close my box on that seam. So the smaller flap is going to come over top of the larger flap. If I can get it off. You're really stuck this morning. And my hands don't want to work. There we go. And just close that into the box. Okay. Now what I like to do is to snip off this at an angle. That little piece that's still sort of sticking out, I just wanna kind of get rid of that from corner to corner. You don't have to, It will, your box will still totally close, but I, this one had this coming down at a little bit more of an angle. So that's why I trimmed that off so it would look like that. So now I would fill my candy inside of that and take a piece of Whisper White and Cherry Cobbler ink. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. Wishing you a sweet season. And one and three quarter circle punch. Punch this out. And I would take now take a piece of cherry cobbler. Um, what is this? Um, twine. I kept wanting to say ribbon. It's not ribbon. So our cherry cobbler twine. This actually is in the holiday catalog in a trio pack. So you get garden green, cherry cobbler, and also a really pretty metallic gold. So you're going to just take that and wrap it. And now I'm going to tie a little bow here. I don't have my candies in there, so I don't want to permanently attach this. Tie a little bow there. Then I take this guy with a little dimensional just attach him right on the front. And then the final little cute touch is our enamel dots. And I just took a little enamel dot um, in Emerald Envy, put that right on the little star in Wishing You, and then that would attach right there and you'd have um, your little box. So see how I did the corner rounder there and it turned out really cute. Okay, so there you go, a super, cute. You have to do a little imagining there, you guys, because I didn't want to finish it. I want to put some candy in it. Um, a really cute little little favor for some friends, co-workers, teacher gifts, um, you know, little stocking stuff, a really neat little idea. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful week, a very, very Merry Christmas to all of you, and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.